okay? I mean, the volumes that are coming in, Dave shared some of the growth that we've experienced over the past few years. The biggest growth is in front of us. So thank you for coming today. Thank you for taking your time to really spend time with us today at Purium. Ian for our ladies and gentlemen. And what Ian didn't tell you is he is a, uh, a champion, um, champion, what, what's that? Cyclist. Cyclist, that's the official term. So, uh, but, you know, um, the truth of the matter is that we're here for one purpose, honestly. And that purpose is to make sure that your tomorrow has a chance to be better than your yesterday. And we're living in a world where, you know, I just want to be frank about it. You know, most people, most people are never going to experience all of the joy and all of the longevity and all of the wellness that we are capable of. And it's not just about dying when you're too young, you guys. I see people my age walking with canes, okay? I see people my age on multiple medications. I see people at my age being buried, okay? Because they didn't take care of their body. And it's never too late to start, but the sooner you start being dedicated, and I mean really dedicated to daily regimen of caring for your body, the compounding effect the benefits will manifest themselves and you'll be able to count on them. So the last thing I want to leave you with is a value proposition. Okay, so everybody, I want you to pay attention to this because people are going to ask you, oh, isn't Purium expensive? Okay, so I want to tell you that most people that I know, most people that I know have saved money over the cost, month to month, the month they bought their ULT, they saved money on their food, meaning they spent less than they did the month before. And it's not just the money they saved on food. Missing days from work is expensive. Visiting doctors is expensive, even with deductibles. Prescriptions are expensive, but that's money. What I want you guys to have is the things that money can't buy. I want you to get out of bed with energy, with optimism. I want you to play with your kids and your grandkids Woo! and your great grandkids. Woo! I want you to garden. I want you to bike. I want you to hike. I want you to swim. I want you to play. I want you to dance. I want you doing all those things that a healthy human body is capable of doing. Because the things that we've given up, those of you who love to dance and can't anymore, when my father had to stop bowling because of his back, and it was his greatest joy, okay? How many people do you know that have given up the things they love and have diminished quality of life because they decided that convenient food, right? The convenient food was where they're saving time and money, no. That's what's ultimately going to cost them the most time and the most money. The ultimate fast food is an apple you can pull off of a tree. Okay? So, I want everyone to just realize that the reason we're here is because the quality of the food that you eat will equal the quality of the life that you ultimately live. And I want you to live an amazing quality of life. So I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to finish the same way I started. Our goal is to create a massive amount of old, really old, really healthy, really wise people to save this planet for the next. to have somebody who is so resolutely dedicated to this. Imagine if you had somebody, imagine if you liked whatever, your car cleaned, and somebody came and they said, I, I, I can clean that car every day. You go, really? <laughs> every single day she comes here as the sun is rising. You know what I mean? If not here physically, she's on a computer somewhere. And she's making this ship sail. She's got her hands firmly on the wheel. 
stormy seas, waves, it doesn't matter. She's the one who comes here every day. And even though she says, you know, oh, you know why she's on stage? Because I kept saying, get up here. And how many times did I prepare a notes for you so you wouldn't forget what to say? And how many times have we prepared together? Because I told her, I said, like every diamond, sometimes they look like a rock at first. Chip away the rough parts and just watch it shine. Just look at her, you guys. Just look. So all of you, when you look in the mirror, I don't want you to see the parts that need to be chipped away. I want you to see the brilliant diamond inside. What, who was the guy, the, 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 the guy who made David the statue? Michelangelo. And he said, oh, it was easy. I just chipped away all the parts that weren't David. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to say, right? Well, I just want you guys to know that you're capable. You're capable of sculpting yourselves into anything you want to be. Just keep chipping off the parts you don't like anymore. Just keep chipping off the parts that don't serve you anymore. Keep chipping off the parts that are not going to bring a better future to you and just wait to see the diamond that you reveal. Yeah.